Welcome to Dr. Justin Runs, and we're going to rant about people having problems uh, coping still with the Ghostbusters 2016. You remember that movie in which it was uh, an abortion on everything that is awesome in the world? That thing practically destroyed the Ghostbusters IP. For quite some time, even the movies that were recently released, uh, they weren't that... They weren't awesome, but they definitely were better than this garbage. I mean, there, there were quite a few woke moments in the first movie that I watched. I still have yet to... I don't even know if the second one is out yet. Is it out yet? I... I don't know. But, um, the movie that was recently released, uh, had quite a few woke moments in there, and a few, huh? And a few girl boss moments as well. Some people who are definitely the genius type that shouldn't even... No, never mind, I'm not here to talk about that movie. I'm, ta I'm here to talk about the... Still, still, the people who are still, still, but hurt over it. Yeah, it's kind of like they had a prostate exam and the medic forgot to actually apply lube and uh, and a glove and his and he was working with a lot of wood and his hands is a little bit uh, uh, well dry. Here, here is one idiot. Let's zoom in. It's a day dam type of deal, so you know how. But this tends to be with this type of crowd. On the rail. Hmm. Is a she day? Uh, you know, I never know what these these, these people do. But uh, yeah. mm, okay. On the rail. This probably didn't help our current chat culture around movies. All he did. All he did was to literally say, "Now I don't want to reveal this garbage." And I agree with him. And when I watched this movie, I think I... How long was this, was this movie? One hour and thirty? All I know is that the, the last third part of the movie, I, I just fell asleep. The special effects were really bad. I mean, really bad. And James Rolfe even commented this later on, I think a few years later, in which he commented how bad the special effects is. And we can actually see, um, even on the trailers itself, the special effects still worse, worse than the special effects from the 80s. And the special effects from the 80s, you didn't even have the computers you had, well, in 2016. So how could you even justify the difference? But still, here we go. That was a reply to another idiot who was literally triggered. Uh, let's not pretend the angry video game nerds, hateful rhetoric and crude language wasn't responsible for corrupting a generation of younger people. Um, suddenly, suddenly, crude language, crude language is just forbidden. It's not possible, it's not allowed. Even though they go on the streets and they chant crude language uh, in support of genocide and um, recently or when they started to burn cities and some time ago. And I mean, it's just, it's called, well, it's called weaponized hypocrisy. <laughs> yeah. But here is a tiny little detail. I'm a huge fan of the Angry Video Game Nerd, one of the parts of this channel, and I'm gonna admit, is actually even slightly based on the Angry Video Game Nerd persona. The excessive swearing and all of that stuff, it's slightly based on that. Some of my swearings, like Shit Pickle, actually literally comes from that. It's because he's kind of like the... the guy who made YouTube to be what it is, and and somebody who actually made us remember the good old days of gaming. And little did I know that when I started watching this, that the future of the video games weren't going to get any better, but, well, worse. With things like Concord, Dragon Age Veilguard, uh, where was Suicide Squad, Dust Barn, was there another crap that they recently released? There was an utter and total failure. Uh, 
I don't remember. But either way, everything he did, it's uh, it was awesome, and it made you bring back the memories. Oh, I remember when I played this part of the game. Yeah, that was good nostalgia. And then you remember, holy shit, the systems back then were really, really primitive, and yet they could get so much out of them. Boy, uh, if you look today, you get frames problems even with simple stuff. What the hell? But before we continue, here is the trailer. Ghostbusters Afterlife, a genuinely worse movie. Mm, I wonder why he would have had this reaction to Ghostbusters 2016. I wonder what Coach and Water at the time made his mid comedy out to be the devil. Oh god. Now we can actually literally discard his opinion. Now, you know, not, not because it had the pronouns in the bio, or the flag that you see there, or um, the retarded takes before? Yes, uh, this one will also take the cake. It's pretty much confirming what we already know. Pick the opinion up and throw it in the garbage. Because how come you actually say Ghostbusters Afterlife being worse than that garbage of, from Ghostbusters 2016? This just shows that you never watched Ghostbusters 1 and 2. Because if you say this, it's because you really, really, really never watched it. Or if you did, it's possibly just a trailer here and there, or the comments of somebody else, but you never did. Because if you... Ghostbusters Afterlife, despite all its problems, and the wokeness in it, and the girl boss moments, and all of that, it's still, still far better. Far, far better than Ghostbusters 2016. Not only in special effects, but in the story in general, yeah, and also it's kind of like a continuation of Ghostbusters 2, even though I technically take the Ghostbusters video game as Ghostbusters 3, but hmm. And the Ghostbusters 2016, I only consider it as some sort of fever dream from Icroid or something like that. Or Spangler, maybe. Mm, who knows? <sighs> this, vi this video is repetitively damaged, Gaucha. Stop being mean to me in the... I what is in the... Oh. Quote retweets. Oh my god, the person says a retarded take on the internet, flings shit, and then when people say, pick up that shit and fling it back, suddenly, suddenly, oh my god, please protect me! I'm getting hurts! <sighs> and not only that, it's uh, the person who originally wrote one of the stuff that this person is replying to, received a community note. 
Let's not pretend the angry video game nerds had for rhetoric and crude language wasn't responsible for corrupting a generation of young people, and you received a community note, as I forgot to mention. In the video, James Rolfe simply said he wasn't going to see the movie because he wasn't interested in it. There was no bias or agenda in the movie, oh, sorry, in the video whatsoever. Well, right, and the same person who began that is also throwing a temper tantrum again. As the internet trolls are miserable incels that only spread hate and disinformation, internet goblins are just little weak guys that spread whimsy and harmless mischief online. Don't be an internet troll, be an internet goblin. These people are really struggling to cope on this. Look at the... And this is uh, the same idiot now realizing that... He got quoted on the side scrollers video. Incredible realization to have hours after saying this about mine. Huh? Huh? Uh, yeah, um. Right. They are really struggling, aren't they? Well, but this is just the normal. Here is another one. It's not, sorry, let's not pretend the angry video game that had for rhetoric and crude language wasn't responsible. Oh yeah, we already read that one. And people began replying and replying and replying and the person here is actually literally struggling to go through with it. Here's another one that, uh, this one, this one takes the cake. This one really takes the cake. The FGN, FGN song is fascist. The promises to take you back to the past. This echoes the sentiment the German Nazi party who promised to take Germany back to the past. A past that never existed. Well, for these people, everything is fascism. Having fun, fascism. Uh, drinking something, fascism. Breathing the air, fascism. Uh... Capitalism, fascism, everything is fascism for these people. It's because they are using the Russian definition of what fascism is. Because the Russians were struggling to contain the, well, people not liking socialism, so they started to say fascism and Nazism were, well, right-wing ideologies or fascism. Bundling up the two, but it's not. They are all um, um, branches of the socialist tree. They are all left-wing, so these people are still using that retarded nonsense to, uh, that Stalin came up with. And then, well, obviously, Umberto Eco, who decided to spread that nonsense and lie about it. But, now, well, leave it to the lefties not to understand that. <sighs> Here it is, the same idiot struggling again. He won the being a Nazi context. Isn't he Iranian descent? Yeah, this is John Tron. And he definitely won. This person is not coping. Not coping at all. It's completely and utterly failing at the coping. <sighs> well, on that goddamn fucking hell, have a great fucking night. And remember... These people, <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs>